Sorry the video is late, but we went to the western shores after we've been to the Eastern Mouth. Just look at this. It's full moon and at the coast it changes a lot. The sun rises, the waves, the high tides. On the western shores I saw some zebra, waterbuck, giraffe, bee eaters catching insects, a osprey feeding on a large tilapia and some very nice kudu. But the best was the hippo I encountered. The buffalo sleeping in the marshes. Come and have a look. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, Beatrice Vivius, your favorite beach partied with your morning beach walk video. Anki Ferenki two socks is here somewhere. I just don't know where. As we're walking towards the estuary mouth. We can see that there's a lot of ghost crabs on the beach but they're not establishing themselves like in a vast amount like they should where they got their name from that's your eye again yes water is strong By so many levels, it makes that tree stump buoyant and then it can push it around. It can pull and push it where it wants it. Nature is bloody amazing. Mother Nature, we call her. The launch site is going to be north, so let's quickly do the estuary mouth overview. The tide is nice and high, the blue water doesn't push in far, but it does go in a little. Wiseman is crossing his T's and dotting his I's to get the right launch site. Big boats launching, little water. And up north a lot of shore dump. So yeah. Means we've got a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Look at that. Oops. Outgoing tide is bringing the dirty water closer to the estuary mouth. The north westerly and easterly wind pivoted the mouth to the east, directly to the east. Now it's cutting a nice deep channel over there. It's eating into the sand bank over there and it's doing more what the scientists wanted to do, to do that it hasn't be, wasn't done or didn't do over the last couple of over the last two years that it was open but still very pretty a lot of marine water retentioning happening right now it's beautiful there's a lot of bait fish there's, there's a lot of species entering the St. Lucia system so um, we hope that uh, this winter brings a lot of uh, a restoration to the system we truly hope so I still maintain there must be an active sediment management plan and there's a lot of people that uh, go against me and tell me you are wrong the estuary mouth opened itself and look no the estuary mouth was opened mechanically in uh, a, the 4th of January 2021 it closed again the 4th of June 2021 and it was closed until the 14th of April 2022 and it was none of that is natural hey, the 
Today we're doing Western Shores. The gates over there. We pay over there. Some Let's zebras go. and water park. That fell is still drinking on the mummy. Mr. Blue Chicken with the red helmet running on top of the water lilies. Can anybody tell me what type of bird that is? Here we've got zebras. This begs the question, is that uh, black and white stripes or white and black stripes? Apparently the stripes is as unique as fingerprints to each one of them. Got one giraffe, very old, with a lot of warts and kinks in the neck. That one's neck is as crooked as can come. With all the wind, the birds and the animals are sitting down. Uh, these little buggers are catching insects here on the road. I saw my through the windscreen of the car, guys. And the windscreen is not even clean. There's not enough signal here at the pen to do the live. There's no animals. We'll just have to find somewhere else. The type of obstacle I like to encounter. We'll make a plan. Then we found this bird feeding on a fish. It's feeding on a lack of sizable tilapia, eh? I spent a good couple of minutes here but couldn't get any footage of the bird feeding, so on we go. On the road to Charters, I found this beautiful Nyala's family of the Bushbuck, Kudu and Elan. That's definitely vegetation. Got to Charters, started the live, forgot to make other footage and the wind was terrible. Yeah, at Charters Creek, this is what's left of the jetty. We're standing right here at the boat slipway. The jetty used to go out way that way and then it went left and right. Now it landed up right in front of us, parallel to the side. And you cannot launch a boat. Probably the best sighting of the day, this hippo out of the water on the way back. He is along under the jacanas, but I couldn't get any videos of that. Luck. Got this big wildebeest head. It looks like a Serengeti migration here. some kudus here on the western shores on our way back to St. Lucia it's almost a night drive the way this buffalo is looking at me Let's show you how close I am to the buffalo action there they are sleeping over there The thing about the late summer, early autumn is that um, the sun sets a lot earlier and the gate still closes at 7, so you have your own mini night drive. It's quite a big herd of buffalo here. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is a sizable herd of buffalo here on the western shores. Wow, I am actually impressed. They, I felt like I was in the Serengeti, really I did. Look at that.